When you examine your data with the FME Data Inspector or the Universal Viewer, you're waiting until the translation is already complete before viewing it. Feature inspection is a method of debugging your workspace that allows you to pause the translation as features pass through. It looks at features one at a time and gives a live view of how the data looks as the translation is taking place. Debugging a workspace can come in handy if you need to locate or check for bad features while the translation is running. It's also helpful while you're building a workspace because you can run it to make sure it's working as expected. To manually pause the translation, you can click this button. If you want the translation to pause at a specific point, right-click on a workspace connection and choose Inspection Point, Add Inspection Point, or press F9. The inspection point will be denoted by a blue line. Then, run the translation with Inspection by clicking this button. If you want to run the translation without pausing at your inspection points, you can, of course, just click the standard Run button. When a feature reaches the inspection point, the translation will pause and a feature inspection dialog will pop up. This contains the same type of information you'd see in the FME Data Inspector or the Universal Viewer. Once the translation is paused, there are three ways to continue. Notice the buttons at the bottom of the dialog. You can choose to step to the next inspection point which means continuing the translation until any feature hits any inspection point. You can step to the next connection, which means continuing the translation until any feature crosses any connection in the workspace. This might be just watching the current feature move from one transformer to another, or it might be a whole new feature entering into the data flow. You can also continue without inspection which means continuing the translation to its natural conclusion without stopping at any inspection points. If you have a custom transformer in your workspace and it's embedded, not linked, then you'll be able to step through it connection by connection. Stepping through the workspace this way can be a great educational tool to helping you understand how features are processed. Sometimes you might want to inspect a feature only if it has some particular characteristic or status. This can be achieved using a conditional inspection point. Right-click an inspection point and choose Inspection Point, Edit Inspection Point. You can then define conditions that need to be met before a feature triggers an inspection point. For example, we'll set it to trigger when FME type equals FME point and let the other features pass through uninspected. At the bottom, you can define how the hit count affects inspection. For example, only inspect every 100th feature that passes the condition by specifying that the hit count must be a multiple of 100. One thing to keep in mind is that running with inspection could slow down the translation process. If you're reading from a database format, there's especially a risk that the connection could time out while you've paused the translation mid-read. I hope this gives you a better understanding of how to debug your workspace. Feature inspection can be a really useful tool in providing an improved understanding of your data, your workspace, or the way in which FME translations operate. Thank you for watching, and be sure to check out more FME feature demos on the FME channel.